Okay, as I was trying to say in the previous video, um, Stutter Edit by Azertolk was not working for me for at least, feels like, five years, if not longer, due to an update on Apple's uh, operating system 10. Today is the first time that I've gotten it to work. Today is October 22nd, 2019. And just here some, um, no songs I was trying to make or anything. I just wanted to see if it would work. And so let's play it. And I'm going to go through each of the settings because it does work on MIDI as well as audio. And so I'm going to start the song to play on the keyboard. Oh, okay. Let me stop because it was still plugged in. Okay, try it again. Okay, as you see, the top line is a mini track. And so uh, this is what you want. You want to have isotope here, a stutter edit there. You want to have stutter edit as an output. And then over here, uh, let me just click on that one. That one goes to bus seven. That's where I have stutter edit set up. Okay, that's the Electric Clash remix. You see that's the top line. Okay, I can uh, close this one. Go to the second one. This is an audio uh, loop, Apple loop. Uh, that is set up, that one right there. Interesting enough, there's no side chain set up. Um, but you do see stutter edit up here. That's what open up that dialog box and the output here. And before you had to have stutter edit on, um, or actually select stutter edit, but now you don't. That's, that's new. But another alt does appear and you set that to no out. Uh, stutter edit does have a stereo out. That's the only one. And pretty much that's it. And it does work. I do see both of these are uh, red. And so when you press. And so let me uh, mute one and go hear the music or the drums. And so what's different is that it does not require uh, the top line to be selected. Okay, there you have it. Have a great day.